So I was pumping on my way here with the automatic like breast pump. And like, they're huge. So I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to hide them. But it's funny. And they like make so much noise. <laughs> but it's not that bad actually. I feel like such a cow. So it's pretty. So I think for about like 30 minutes with the automatic pump. These work really good and I only, I try to buy like one of the cheapest one which was like $69 but I feel like for that price it was really good and it's actually really strong. Um, the only thing is I don't get as much with these versus with the Medela, like the, the power pump. I feel like if I put it in a higher setting, I'm sure. So this one's for one of my breasts. It's from my right side where I had the surgery. And I only get like 10 ml. And then from this one is from my other side. And it looks like I got, I got 40 from that one. Because it went total to 50. So... Even though it's just these, normally I'll get like 70, um, it's fine, like I, I think it's better than nothing and I feel like I was having a hard time like actually pumping and like finding time to pump, um, so this kind of worked out. I'm always on the go and he's doing really good, he's just like looking so cute um, and I might get to hold him later today. So honestly, I feel like these are kind of a lifesaver because otherwise I would have missed a pump or I would have been late on a pump, like way later than I already was because I was already kind of late and I was debating like, do I stay home and pump or do I come here and then pump here but then be like an hour late. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to pump with these and then in an hour I'll pump with the regular um, kind of to give a break. And I'm going to drink a lot of water because I keep left the part that I'm like really bad. And the hospital has a fridge. Um, and where we... Oh, it's okay. I bought some of my milk. 